All right, I'm gonna try to make this video here of updating your Inductrix Pro in Betaflight. And after you do it, you think you've bricked it. So I'm gonna try to do this, just filming it myself. So I'm gonna have to put the phone down a few times. So first, connect it to Betaflight. All right. Let's see here. I think we are connected. And I'm going to try to back it up. And this might not be the right way to back it up. But I'm going to hit back up. And I'm going to call it, uh, make a folder. New folder is good enough. All right. I'll back it up there. I'll go to CLI. And I'll do a dump. All right, and I'll take all of these settings here. We're at 3.16. And I'll copy that. And I'll put it in a text file. We'll just call it dump. Paste it, save it. All right, so what happened to me is I went into setup and I tried to flash it. So let's see if I can do that. Disconnect. Go to firmware flasher. All right, we got the knees picked. We're going to choose 3.17. Um, I don't know if we need to do full chip erase or not, but let's see if we can get it. We'll load it and we'll flash it. All right, so it's doing this thing. And I got this to work the first time just fine. It was after I did this, I was pretty sure the quad was broke, but I was able to get it fixed. All right, so now that I've done it, um, I think it reboots or something on its own. I'm not really sure. Um, let's see if we can just hit connect again. Yeah, it won't connect. It's just going crazy down here, right? So let's see if it does the same thing it did before. So I disconnected it. And it seems okay, but when you try to reconnect it back into Betaflight to check your settings, right? Lights are flashing like crazy. I hit connect. Nothing's happening. But if you listen to the quad, you can hear it. it's making like a clicking noise. And my theory on what's happening is the motors are actually trying to spin up right now. So if you attach a battery to it, you can see that it is now flying. So in order to get it to connect to Betaflight, leave the battery attached. And you plug in your USB cable. You can also unplug the motors. And hit connect again. And see now it's connected. If it thinks it's flying, all that great stuff. Just connect it. Now what happened when you changed upgrade it to 3.17? All it did was it changed the ESC setting to one shot. It should be on brushed. If you switch it back to brushed, hit save and reboot. It'll reboot the quad. Motors have stopped. Everything seems okay. And we can disconnect. And now, we'll pick it back up. Disconnect the battery, kind of like normal. We'll disconnect the USB cable. Alright, so we're starting back to where we were before. Hook the USB cable up.
and hopefully when we connect hit connect in beta flight it just connects so whatever happens when you upgrade to 3.17 I think the only thing that really happens and you think you're bricking it is it switches the motors to the default of one shot instead of brushed and once you do that on the inductrix pro it freaks it out and I think what it is is it the motors are trying to spin and of course plugging in the USB cord it doesn't supply enough electricity to the board to spin the motors and connect to the computer. So I think the motors are trying to spin using up all the electricity. That's why you're getting that clicking sound. And that's just a theory, but if you switch it back to brushed, save it, it should fix it. So hopefully that'll help anybody who's having the same problem.